Watteau's Pleasures of the Dance, Les Plaisirs du Bal, painted probably around 1717, one of his most celebrated compositions that introduces this idea of the fête galante, a courtly company, a meeting of youthful, happy, well-dressed people, courting, loving, uh, flirting, and set in a grand park with this magnificent Renaissance villa in which they are, a couple is dancing a minuet. This type of subject in, in art, which goes back to Rubens and Veronese, in a way was Watteau's great contribution to the 18th century. He took this idea of an earthly paradise and he populated it with young people, forever young, often dancing together, flirting together, talking together, and sometimes more violently uh, pressing their suit. This was a completely new type of painting in Europe and it stirred the imagination because then as today, it seems to offer us a glimpse into a sort of earthly paradise where everyone is eternally young and love is in the air. So let's look at this picture a little more closely. There are no fewer than 65 individual characters in this picture, probably one of Watteau's most populous canvases, but it's very small as you can see. At the center, is a couple dancing a quite stately minuet. He has his hands up, and in fact his hands are gloved. I never saw that before, but they're gloved. And she is responding to him in a very proper way. On the right is a musician playing in an orchestra. And there are a couple seated on the front row, but they're not paying much attention to the dancing. And on the left, we have another group of people. Some are in dress up, in fancy dress, some are wearing the costumes of the Commedia dell'arte, the Italian comedians, and some in fact are wearing old-fashioned dress. But Vato creates a harmony in these groups, and we can't always tell what is modern and what is old-fashioned. There are children and dogs in this picture, and their presence tends to lower the erotic temperature, if you like. But when we get close in, we see that for all the graceful fan handling and saluting, there are a couple of instances where lovers lose it, if you like, and start really aggressing their partners. You can find these groups. Uh, it, it takes a while to come to them. You can find them. It doesn't break with this general harmony and happiness, but it gives us a sense that love's journey is not always so easy. And finally, just look at this fantastic parkland and the architecture. These marble figures supporting the arch are called caryatids. They are a stock architectural motif. But in Watteau's picture, they become almost living sculptures. And then in the park beyond, these enormous trees and a fountain, we can even make out couples, children, sitting, talking, taking the picnic. Just look at the shimmering satins, the fantastic ruffs around the women's necks, the expressions of each of the actors. The great English painter John Constable said of this picture, it is an exquisite and inscrutable thing that would vulgarise Peter Paul Rubens and Paolo Veronese. Masterpieces from Dulwich will be on view in the Oval Room and the north part of the Garden Courtyard. And there are nine paintings in all. Four will be outside in the courtyard and five, the five largest, will be in the Oval Room. Perhaps the most beguiling is Rembrandt's Young Girl at a Window, painted in 1645, which, as Dulwich says, is their Mona Lisa. It's a beguiling picture of a young girl looking out at us. Many questions still to answer about this picture. And another favorite of mine is the superb full length by Gainsborough of the two Linley sisters. Um, both of them had a tragic life, but they're shown as the most beautiful and poised young women imaginable. And this picture relates very well to our own Gainsboroughs in the dining room. The exhibition is accompanied by a very well-written and in, in lively catalog by Xavier Solomon, who is the chief curator at Dulwich and was formerly the Andrew Mellon Fellow at the Frick. There'll be a program of educational lectures and gallery conversations. And for more information, check us out on the web at frick.org. Thanks. <laughs>